this tutorial we are going to learn how to get online data for land cover so we have to write land cover data or land cover institute so this will guide us this website from there we have to go to global land cover and then click the images and then go to the download data download and click on the land global land cover 2006 so this is the site where we can get the data this is provided by the european space agency they have clusterized the data for different zone for the europe we have to go to this one and we have to put these initials because we are using arcgis so we can go to the esri grid and then we put the initials And then we have to check the terms and conditions. You need G. After checking it, we have to go to submit. And then the data will appear. And it will start downloading. Once it is done, we can copy it and paste it to the required folder that we are working. It was Switzerland. And then paste it here and extract it. Now we can see the data from ArcGIS. So it will ask for pyramid so there it is so we can see there's 24 classes for for the zone that we have selected for Europe now we need to get the data for Switzerland so we can put the Swiss map and extract the required files so we can go to the extract by mask Now drag and drop the whole raster and put the shape file that we need to have it masked and then save it someplace. Maybe we can go to the same file same folder for Switzerland. Yeah, new Switzerland and give a name. or something like that and then save it okay it will take some time to process the data good that it's done quickly so now we can see that the classes that the my map that is falling on switzerland is located there so if we remove the whole one then we remove the other layer and zoom the newly added data so this is a Land use map for Switzerland, you can see there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 classes there. So, and the description you can get from a file that is given along with this folder. Once you download this, there will be a DBA file or, a, a, yeah, this one. So if we see the attribute table, yeah, that's the code, associated code, what is the land cover and what is the explanation for that. So that's how we can get the land use map data freely available. So for any question, you can contact with me if, if there is any difficulties. Okay, that's it.